fucking jank right now. Um, I literally came from class and the finals grind is apparent. But I wanted to capture the authenticity of this moment. I just finished my four year degree, uh, my Bachelor of Design. I just handed in my last project like an hour ago. Drove home, came here, and now I'm talking to a camera. So as you can probably read in the video title, I'm going to be painting a mural in my school's graffiti stairwell. So that sounds like vaguely illegal, but trust me, it's not. This like graffiti stairwell in my university's building is basically a well upstairs that every like square inch or whatever you can paint or create or put down whatever you want. So that was like a really cool thing going into uni and I've always wanted to like do something in there, but uh, never have. So I figured this is like my last chance to put something up as like a nice fucking knowing ya type mural. Right now this hoodie, I don't know where my camera frame ends or begins, but we had hoodies made um, for our friend group or whatever. Um, we call ourselves the ACAT Sweeties. My school's name is ACAT, it recently was changed to AU Arts, it got university status or whatever. But I want to incorporate this logo into the mural to like represent my um, department and friend group kind of leaving this year. So I checked with security and I do have building access until the 12th of May. Today is April 17th. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I have like a little under a month to get that good and done. So please join me on this journey of um, fucking distracting myself from the fact that I no longer go to school and have to do adult things now. Okay, let's go. All right, so here's the sort of game plan that I've come up with. I've chosen the kind of area slash wall that I'm gonna be painting the mural on. So with that, I can kind of start to sketch out how I want the actual thing to look. First on paper, and then I'd probably bring it into digital to like get a better sense of it. And then once I have that, I can kind of guess how much material I'm gonna be needing. I'll probably just go to like a dollar store or something to get some like real cheap paint and large scale painting supplies. And then from there, I just gotta bang it out. So yeah, we'll just play it by ear, see how it goes. Hello, so the date is April 21st. I uh, have been done class for multiple days, yet here I am, same hoodie, same dead ass face situation that I had in the intro. I'm just gonna start putting my ideas down on paper, um, get that all sorted out before I refine in digital. Yeah, let's just get started with that. So that's kind of what the logo is gonna look like. I know I wanna do some sort of portrait, so I think I'll do like a chick maybe like the head there and then, I don't know, something like that would be cool. And then maybe some like very like Pinterest-y um, plant things coming around and shit. So I think that's kind of what I'm thinking. I think with the light coming down the center there through that top bar, it's gonna look pretty nice. But yeah, so now that we have this, I think I'll just like take a picture of it and then um, take it into digital and then make something that looks a little less rough is a nice word. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, hello. Uh, so the date is April 26th, um, and I'm happy to announce that I did my face today, kind of. We're just in Photoshop right now, and I'm just gonna start um, working on this refining process or whatever. I just placed this sketch into Photoshop. Just popping on my blue light filter uh, glasses. Okay, so I'm just pulling in, whoa, the actual logo. Okay, and with that in there, I'll just start sketching away. I feel like the design of the girl itself doesn't matter that much. Um, the point of it is kind of just to make some sort of interesting graphical um, foot, foot photographable uh, image. So I have this like dark green that I'm playing with right now. It's kind of really dark. So I'm gonna make it a tad lighter. Um, this is all very like, we'll see what kind of paint I can find at Dollarama. But um, just for reference, it looks pretty good. I need to decide on what I want for the background. What do we think? Initially my thought was like a purple but now I'm kind of thinking because the red of the ACAD logo might be nice if it was highlighted, something like that. And then if, okay, so like 
bear with me. Okay, so that's kind of nice. Um, purple hair. Should the jacket be green? How do we feel? I feel like the jacket should be bluey. I don't know. Ooh, what if it was white? Or like, ooh, that's nice, I like that. That's cool. Okay, and then for the blue, to bring back the like purpley tones, I might just like add ooh, shading. And then the pants, I think, is where I'm gonna bring in that green that I had. Okay, sick. And then, like I said, um, when I was sketching just on paper, um, I wanna add those like greeny plant elements. I don't know if this is gonna be like disgusting, <laughs> but mint? Is that? I like the mint, but like on the chick herself, she doesn't have any. Is this like super discordant right now? I don't even know. I'm like literally figuring this out as I go. You know what it is? I think the background needs to be a little more pinky. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. Hmm? Okay, that's fun. I like that. And then I feel like she needs an outline because she's kind of like um, disappearing right now. Okay. I guess this is what we're going with then. Um, watch me fucking change my mind when I actually paint it, but... <laughs> so now that we are digitally refined, um, all that's left on the checklist or whatever of things to do, um, still gotta go shopping, gotta buy some paint, buy some materials, and then just gotta paint the damn thing. Um, so I was talking to my friend about this. This is like supposed to be like some secret mural or whatever, but I might contact the dude that like created the logo and see if like he wants to like do a little collabo or whatever. Cause like if I paint the background mural or something and then get him to come in and paint the actual logo and like hand lettering and stuff cause he's just like amazing at that, um, that would be super sick. So yeah, that's all for now. Um, signing off? Oh my god, why did I say that? That's- so yeah, bye for now. <laughs> I'll go get supplies at another date, but literally like in one second here because of video magic editing. Bye. Hello! Um, so the date is the next day from what I said last time. What did I say? Um, people are joining my... Sorry, I'm like, I've never filmed in public! So I'm off to Dollarama to get some fucking paint supplies and... I think I'm gonna get some like chalk to do the sketching out of and I need like some of those big roller paint thingies because I'm working with a pretty large area and then yeah just some like cheap paint if I can get it. Uh, hopefully they have like some decent stuff and not just like some shitty child watercolors or something so we'll see. Off we go! So I just pulled up to the Dollarama or whatever and I forgot the 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 digital refinement that I that I fucking did yesterday. So I don't have like a clear reference about what colors I need for paint. But I mean, I did do it yesterday, so I think I can remember pretty closely. And if not, that's probably a problem. Just the basics, you know. A big roller for the background color, which I bought a bunch of small paints, like so. I bought 32 of these, um, but I think for the actual background slabness, I'm gonna need more than what I can get in these like little bottles or whatever. So I need to find somewhere that I can get like a large amount of paint for not a lot of money, hopefully. Yeah, we'll see. Got a few brushes, varying sizes, little paint holdy thingy, and some neon uh, chalk for, oh my god, there is a car that just pulled up beside me. Hello, sir. Ma'am. Um, I will update you on what I get for that like background color situation because I need a lot of it. On to the next portion of the thing that I'm doing. Eh. Hello, 
The date is May 3rd, and I'm gonna go paint this uh, first layer background thingy of the mural today. I know I said I was gonna start painting on the 9th, but I've been done school for a few days and I've just been applying for jobs and mm, I'm fucking bored, so I'm just gonna go do that now. I forget if I said this in the intro, but the reason I wanted to push it as far back as I can is that technically once the mural is up there, um, anybody can paint over it. So yeah, that's me. I'm fucking tired. I couldn't make myself a coffee today this morning. I just moved in with my boyfriend and my kettle was left at his old place and the landlord was supposed to come by with like the rest of his stuff yesterday, but he didn't. So um, I'll probably just stop at a McDonald's and get a coffee on my way to the school and then we'll go from there. I do have you. Hi, uh, can I get a medium black iced coffee, please? <laughs> I'm parked down there and school is up fucking there. This is my daily struggle of walking to class. Keeps me slim. Okay, so we're in the space now. As you can hear, it's very echoey and looks like somebody put something up that wasn't here when I measured it. So that's cool, people have been painting in here. So yeah, I'm just gonna lay down the base color that I did. Oh, I forgot to mention. Amazon pulled through with the Apple Barrel Fuchsia paint. I ordered this on Amazon, it was like five to seven dollars each. So it's pretty good. And I have two of these, so hopefully that's enough to like cover the entire surface area of this wall, but we'll see. So there's the first coat. It's looking pretty thin. And we do have this um, barely noticeable uh, divot. So I think while I wait for this first coat to dry, I'm gonna see if the bookstore is still open and if I can buy like a small paintbrush that can just fill in that area. Because I forgot to bring any paintbrushes that I bought at the dollar store here because I didn't know this was gonna be an issue. to lay a second coat. Um, the date is May 6th. Back here, climbing up my favorite hill. I'm going to be going back to the space and I'm gonna start putting down the line work of the mural. First with the chalk that I bought and then with uh, some dark purple paint as I planned on my digital refinement stage. Sorry, I'm so fucking out of breath. Oh, I need to work out, okay. So see y'all in a bit. We are back in this echoey ass bitch. High key relieved that this is still uh, clean and nobody's put anything on it. So yeah, we'll just get started with sketching it out and then uh, I'll line it with paint and probably that's it for today, but we'll see. Okay, 
so we're all done the lines, uh, cleaned up the chalk sketch that was underneath it just with some water. And uh, yeah, I think I'll be heading out now. Okay, we are out. Heading back now and a few things. That took way less time than I thought it would. And um, I used way less paint than I thought I would. I used one of those little bottles for all of that line and I bought, like I said, 32 of these. So yeah, the next time around I'm going to probably bring all of the paint that I have just so that I can just work on it and not be limited to what I brought. So heading back now, I'll see you guys in a bit. I forgot to fucking pay for parking, so hopefully I don't get a ticket in like two weeks. So we're back and uh, hopefully going to finish the illustration portion of the mural today. As you can see, I brought all my paint today, so I'm sure I won't run out anytime soon. Yeah, nothing much else to say, I'll just get started and uh, keep going. So little do they know I won't be back in five minutes. <laughs> um, so my parking is now expired. I should probably leave this area. But um, just came down to move my car and figured I might as well take a break and grab something to eat. There's not a lot of drive throughs or anything. I might like just go to a Safeway or something and see what they have. So let's go. this um, onion, green onion pancake thing and uh, feta cheese pie from Safeway. If y'all were wondering, very glamorous lunch. <laughs> So from here, I think tomorrow, just gotta do the logos that will be placed on top and then give her like an outline or something and then she'll be done. <sighs> I'm so tired. Yeah. <coughs> so full last day of painting and I'm really fucking pleased with how it's turned out so far. I think it's gonna look bomb as fuck. That's too much swearing. Um, I think it's gonna look very nice once the calligraphy is on there. I'm gonna eat some food and watch some Netflix. See y'all in a bit. Is that my catchphrase? I don't know. What's up guys? Welcome back to painting again and I have... What's up? It's me, Will Types. At Will Types on Instagram. So Will's the one who made the logo. So he's gonna put it on top of the chick that I painted already, and then we'll go from there. So I think I will be coming back one more time just to take a look at it again because I think the Sweeties logo needs um, some black 
either in between the white and the gold or on the outside of the gold that we have. So um, yeah, we'll update you on that. So another long ass day. Thank you again to William Typography for uh, coming in and doing the logo. Looks nice. So yeah, it's just one more week until convocation day. The big reveal to my whole friend group. We're reaching the end game. Good morning. So the date is May 16th, which, as we all know, is the big convocation day that all of this mural painting has been leading up to. So I'm just getting ready to go and I'm going to be meeting my friends at the school around 11. I think it's like 10 o'clock right now. So yeah, we're going to meet there and then we're going to go into the graffiti stairwell to take pictures. The mural is still pretty much a secret. Only like a handful of my friends know about it. So. Um, hopefully I can get some good reactions from them, and yeah, so we're just gonna go in, and hopefully they will be surprised and delighted, and then we're just gonna take some pics in front of it for the gram. Um, so like I did say in the last part, the last time I was, I was in the stairwell, um, I did go back um, off camera or whatever and added that black line that I mentioned. It was pretty uneventful, I just like took a sharpie and lined around the gold. That's the only difference, and it's looking fucking sweet. You guys will see in a bit. But yeah, very excited for the big reveal. Um, and I forgot to mention, um, I'm also gonna be bringing a sharpie for us to use. Oh my god, do you see this? We're painting the house right now. Um, anyways, I'll turn around. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna bring a sharpie so that we can all like sign our names on the mural and like write a little graduation message and make it like a ending final um, goodbye. So that's gonna be cute. Oh my god. <laughs>